Hi everyone, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. Today is a big update on all of my colonies. Welcome to the My Living World's Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Here's a quick look at what will be in this video. We have three of my colonies in new setups. The Barbarian Queen as her first worker. I released my Mega Black Ant colony. An egg laying machine caught from nuptial flights. A new Flavis Queen from nuptial flights. A new queen that has a habit for escaping. And a new Fidoli queen. So, first, we have three colonies which have moved into the new nests. These were featured in last week's nest video, but today, we'll talk about each of these colonies separately. The first is the acorn ant colony, which have moved into an acrylic nest, the red lounge. This colony is making some good progress. There is so much brood and a massive pile of eggs, so this queen is keeping busy. Hopefully, they will fill up more of the nest in a month or two. I encountered the strange pupa which had a pink head, unlike all the other brood. I had never seen this before. I could only assume that this was a malnourished worker which will never make it to adulthood. If any of you guys know what this is, feel free to comment below on what you think this is. The next is my Messel Barbarous colony, which have moved into a white on nest, which they seem to absolutely love compared to their nest in the test tube setup. At the moment, brood development is slow and I could only see a few small eggs, but this colony recently finished a dried mealworm. The queen was working very hard chewing it up, as well as the first media worker helping out. This extra protein will help brood development. I came across a very strange interaction between the media and minor worker. The media worker produced this small ball from its mouth and gave it to the minor worker. I thought it was an egg, but then I was just puzzled. It seemed more like a regurgitated piece of food that the worker had stored in her social stomach. I had never seen this happen before and it was so interesting to observe. I can't wait for the day this colony produces its first major and eventually super majors. One of my fire ant colonies, which I was keeping, now lives in their natural setup, along with some other creatures, which seem to all get along. I absolutely love this setup and I'm sure this is the first of many natural setups I'll have for future colonies. If you guys want to know how to make a natural setup, comment below asking for a video on this. This setup is full of springtails, woodlouse, millipedes, and beetles which all live together. The springtails and woodlouse are great for eating leftover waste. And from what I can see, this colony is really happy in their new nest. They even have some elates. My barbarian queen has her first worker. Finally, after waiting at least six weeks, she has her first nanotech. I'm so happy to see the small growth and the size of this Campanota species is stunning. There is a second cocoon which will be ready soon, as well as some larvae and a few more freshly laid eggs. Now, moving on from my three growing colonies, I released my Lassie Snyder colony and I have to say, I will miss having such a large colony. This colony was so big that they must have had more than 100 elates, possibly two to 300 queens and males. I decided I would let them all go, and let them complete their nuptial flights naturally. Just a quick disclaimer, this colony is native to the UK, which means that they can be released. If you are keeping a non-native species, please do not release them, as they could become invasive or they will just simply die off. We have a few new queens to welcome to the channel. The first is a pair of Lassius Niger queens caught from this year's nuptial flights. The reason this queen is so special is because in my life of keeping ants, I have never seen a founding queen produce this many eggs. Now when feeding my queens, nothing has been different about this one, but she is certainly doing well and this colony will definitely have a good head start. The next is Alassia's Flavers queen with a small batch of eggs, also caught from nuptial flights, less than a week ago. And this is just a small bit of footage of the nuptial flight occurring before I caught the queens on the ground. And finally, two more queens. We have a Fidoli Faladula queen with some eggs in her founding stage. The awesome thing about this species is they get majors with big heads, which is where they get the nickname Big Headed Ants. Unlike other species which also get majors, the heads are completely disproportionate to the body, which makes them look so funny, and I can't wait to see the first majors. And now, our very beautiful but problematic escape master, Campanotus Herculeneus, otherwise known as the carpenter ant. This queen had a bunch of eggs, but then suddenly out of the blue, she was gone. At first glance, I saw all of this white stuff appearing as eggs. 
When taking a closer look, I realised it was the plastic chewed up from the lid, only to find there was a hole. Luckily, I found her within minutes, later on the floor, and quickly placed her into a new test tube, and a new cap. But then she chewed the lid again! Luckily, I placed the cotton ball on the end so she couldn't escape again. After observing this behaviour, and comparing this to the species, this made a lot of sense. The reason why she did this was probably because the test tube setup was not working for her, and the conditions were not right. She had placed the chewed up plastic onto the cotton, probably to reduce the humidity as it was so moist. It is common for most Campanota species to like a humidity of around 50-60%. to 60%. It is not all bad news though. She's now laid a fresh batch of eggs, and seems much happier after modifying her test tube. So guys, this was just an update on all of my colonies, and some new queens on the channel. If you would like to see any of these queens have their own videos, whether it's the 15 fact video, or just a larger update on one specific colony, let me know in the comments down below. Also, how did all of you do with nuptial flights? What species did you catch this summer? Coming up on next week's video, is a 15 fact video on the big headed ant queen, Fidoli Faladuba. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.